Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 11, Taking Liberties Free Play for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. You can see on the far left, we got a character suggestion list. Those are the characters we use to complete this free play. We get the 90,000 stud requirement for True Believer. And uh, we get the 10 to 10 mini kits, and we even show you the stand in peril location. So, oh to the yeah, get on your map, head on out to Taking Liberties, which is the icon indicated with the Statue of Liberty face. You can select any of those, actually, and go through and scroll through left and right. But uh, as you may have figured out by now, we have deleted some cutscenes, and we've sped this up as per usual. We're going to start right off the bat with Iron Man and head over to the left-hand side, where uh, you wouldn't normally probably head over to. So... Uh, fly over here and get all the way to the very base of the stairs. Uh, if you got Hulk following you around, it may be kind of a pain because he bounces around and pushes you around. Freaking bully. And uh, big old green monster. Right at the base, there is a silver object you can destroy with rockets, and that'll yield us our first mini kit. So we mean business, people. And if you're in a hurry and uh, want to skip along, we have video description quick links down below in the video description. Ever, ever. And uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, we'll switch to Mr. Fantastic right there and slide on through the grate that was right behind that first mini kit. And once we get through the grate, we'll switch to a flying character such as Iron Man and uh, fly all the way to the top of the shaft. <laughs> and uh, not just the tip or the bottom, people. Not just the base, but the top. And uh, fly all the way up there. You'll get yourself a mini kit. Now, throughout the level, there are a couple of these uh, purple pots. And uh, although we like to try to keep those all clumped together, it was just too difficult and seemed ridiculous trying to go all the way back in the level or all the way forward. So we got them labeled. There's going to be three different quick links there, and it'll uh, take you to the three locations for those purple pots. Meanwhile, back down below, uh, that's a tribute to my friend BHU who likes to uh, talk like a superhero announcer. And uh, that's right, Mike putting you on the spot. We're going to switch to Hulk and go through the green sludge. And once we bust in there, we're going to slide to the left. Now, this is probably a mini kit you grabbed in story, but if you did not, it's creeping in there around the left-hand corner. Now, as soon as you start to advance a little further, we get, uh, well, a little uh, test of the deodorant stick there with the, <laughs> the arm of the Statue of Liberty. Slamming that right in our way. A little back of the forearm or something, I don't know little armpitage it looks like but uh, what, what we'll do is we'll go up top we'll bust that open from uh, from above and then it'll puke some bricks out that we can build into a fantastic four panel as you just witnessed and then uh, once we get through that we'll actually switch over and we're not gonna mess with a lot of this detail oriented stuff but before we get flying away we want to make sure we grab pot number two here we go purple pot booyah kashow and now we'll switch to a flying character and we'll make our way a little bit further along without having to play these little games. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we do have a little cinematic scene that breaks through right here and uh, we actually cannot get through quite yet. We do have to switch to a big character like the Hulk and get our smash on. We will, whoa, we we'll, we'll get a serious smash on if we get our fall on as well. But uh, we're going to grab this green-handled item down here, and it's you've got to be careful and aim properly. You might have to take a couple steps forward. Once you smash that up, the hand will retract, and you'll be able to get a little bit further in the level. You might remember this. You could either fly over the green sludge, or you can use Hulk to run right through it. Either way will work fine with us. But before doing it, let's go ahead and swoop that last purple pot, huh? Booyah kashow. As soon as you get it, it'll leave a little mini kit behind. That's not the kind of mini kit we're worrying about cleaning up. We'll p take that one all day long. And all right, so here we go. We got a. Uh, we're told that we're not smart enough. That's so sexist. Computer telling us we're not smart enough because we're a girl. Surprised nobody said anything about that. Now we started getting into that, moving that, and we're like, wait a minute, why? Why would we do this? So we'll go ahead and switch a flying character like Iron Man, fly all the way over here. And once we get over here, there's a handful of baddies we'll take out. And then there's uh, two switches that need to be dealt with. But before we can deal with those switches, we have to remove the room of the goo. At least I think we do. I suppose you might try standing on both of the switches. Oh, wait, look, I did. And it worked. So go ahead and get on out of here. How about that? Whoop, whoop. 
Actually, I'm pretty sure I made an edit right there. Although it might have been a good one. It looked all right, right? It looked all right. Anyways, so once you get to the the double switch there, obviously there was three switches. We used the two small ones. And uh, we'll switch right on over to a flying character as soon as we enter the new area. And we'll fly up and around the shaft and uh, find ourselves a mini kit. Right around the corner from this, we'll find Stan in peril. So follow that back right wall. And the camera will kind of switch, and you'll find a zip line down below. We're going to miss the zip line, and we get real lucky with that drop right there. Not that Iron Man suit wouldn't have kicked up, but we'll go ahead and free the debris and free Lee. Free Lee of debris. Free Lee of debris. Woohoo. That was fun. All right. And up above, we will see a grapple hook. Use Spider Man or Dr. Octopus or Mr. Fantastic, a handful of people, to go ahead and pull that down. And once you uh, get that, you're going to use. Uh, somebody that can handle cosmic bricks like Galactus or Silver Surfer to build the statue, which you saw give us a mini kit as well. So Now we're going to fly back towards the main objective over here. And although we do flip a switch with Wolvie and make our way through, this is not something you need to do. This is not relevant to free play. You actually want to go over those green handles on the upper right hand side of the screen, which we will now make our way through as we grab a couple of studs along the way. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Mini kits coming up. You can see it. This is probably one you grabbed in the story mode as well. Go ahead and grab Hulk and rip that door off. Toss that door off in the distance. Now slide on in. Yeah, I don't think you can get in there with Hulk. And notice that. Conveniently, the other guy switched to Hulk, too. What the? All right. Switch to somebody smaller and slide on the crack in there. And you can get all the way back to that mini kit. Maybe. We're having some problems switching back and forth here. And, oh yeah, all right, Spidey, it's going to require you to use Spidey Sense, but we don't need to in order to get that mini kit. But in order to get up top, it's, uh, it's, a, handy, it's a handy thing to know, right? Back to the flying guy. Let's go ahead and switch up there, get up to the upper level. And once we uh, destroy everything up here, we should be able to advance a little bit further. Really, that's not really relevant either. We have a no problem flying around that big green thing. Which appears to just be a light, really. But we're going to drop down, take out all the baddies, and work our way to get this door open. There are quite a few blue studs under this, so we might uh, we might cruise under there and check it out, too. You know. Now we'll come back out, use our Spider-Man with our Spidey Sense, and grapple. Zoom. Rip the door open and make our way through. All right, so we do have a little bit of time here. If you want to use one of those quick link buttons, it wouldn't hurt our feelings. But there are, uh, there are some more collectibles coming up. So, again, there will be five links for the, the mini kit in question here, which happens to be mini kit number nine. And there are five blue signs. Uh, the first one's going to be right up at the top here, right in the back right corner of where we just climbed up to. It's uh, got a blue pole, and uh, it's got a white face on it. So we'll get this elevator going so we can get Hulk up here. And for whatever reason, we end up switching to Hulk and smashing the first blue sign. Okay, one of these days. Yep, there we go. One of five is now complete. Now, number two is actually right down below it, and it's going to be on the stairway that leads up. You can see it right there on the top left side of it. Booyaka shadow, two in the bag. So we'll come back to those in a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and switch to uh, magnetic characters, such as Magneto. And we'll use his Nito abilities to pull that open. And we will walk away with the eighth mini kit. And we'll uh, go back to uh, our ascent to the top of this area. Flying character will help surely get us to the top. So rather than fighting through the story and trying to push every lever and pull every knob, <laughs> we'll go ahead and fly up to the tizzy tizzy. And along the way, there are a couple of signs. So there's definitely some spots that you're going to want to kind of uh, double back onto. So you can see we're making our way up. We're not going to build that. It's just wasting our time. We're up to what would be the third floor now. We're going to have to backtrack and go to like uh, floor two and a half over here. About halfway up the stairs from two and three, there is another sign. So we'll go ahead and knock that one out. So now we got three. And just to make sure, we come back and look at the other little landing up here. And there's nothing of importance to us other than some trouble. And we don't want no trouble. Leave us alone. All these bullies, like five dudes jumping on one dude. Just because I got an iron suit doesn't mean I'm tough. <laughs> All 
All right, all the way in the very top, in the very left-hand side of the walkway on the left of the fire. Should I say left one more time? There is one behind a box, so more than likely you'll get that one from destroying, and maybe you already got these anyways. But the last one is at the very top up by the water, kind of the exit point, and we will use uh, the rockets to blow that up. You can go punch it. You can slap it around. I don't. You can sit on it if you want. I don't care what you do with it, but make sure you obtain it and uh, grab the mini kit whilst doing so. Once you get that fifth one, feel free to switch on over to Iceman. And uh, if you get somebody else with some freezing abilities, I wouldn't be mad if you used him. But you will actually freeze a mini kit, and you'll need some heat to heat it up. The heat is on. Yeah. And we got that mini kit, 10 to 10. Woot woot. And uh, since we already got Stan, then we're good. So if you're here for the collectibles, we are done. You can roll out. If you want to hang out and uh, listen, or whatever the case may be, maybe you need some help finishing the level, maybe you've never played this level. Either way, you can hang out. If you want to check out all the storyline stuff, we encourage you to check out our story walkthrough. Like if you're not going to buy the game, or maybe you're kind of teetering back and forth. Because uh, we can see we just cut out a major cutscene right there. So there's all the details of the story and everything can be seen in our story walkthrough. Now we're at the top of the tower, and... Uh, We've got uh, some trouble here, as, as you might recall. This is uh, looks like a good dear friend of ours, and uh, it's kind of weird taking, trying to take him out. But he's got mind control right now over Wolverine. You need to sna smack Wolverine until his hearts are missing, and then eventually you'll get the prompt to take over, and you'll push an action button, and then you'll regain his power or control of him, I guess. And then you just repeat this process with the next two. The only thing that gets tricky with this battle is that Hulk is pretty much invincible, so you get a Got to fool him into smacking the ground, and once he smacks the ground, then you can go ahead and uh, watch him swing, shrink into Bruce Banner and then attack while he's in Bruce Banner form. So, same thing applies here. Mr. Fantastic gets all squirrely and starts, like, wrapping you up like a pretzel. And eventually, after you smack him a few times and remove his hearts, he will give you the access to go ahead and control him. And then you'll regain him, and then he'll take over on Mr. Hulk, as promised. And once we get Hulkster back, we will uh, we'll head on out to the totals. And like I said, this one's a little trickier because you have to fight off all the bad guys, and you got to make sure that uh, you trick him into smashing next to you because he will uh, then turn into Bruce Banner form, which he becomes uh, not invincible. Hey, what up? There's Lee. I always talk about Free Lee, Free Lee. And my buddy, he just got online. Did you see that? Free Lee, Free Lee. He's not supposed to be playing right now. He's got a broken hand. I'm going to have to call him about that. All right, so I was having some troubles fooling the Hulk there, but I get him finally down. Then I accidentally access the save panel. I don't want to save. I want to whoop on him, and I want to get out of here. So once you knock out the Hulk, you actually have to use the Wolvie detection, and at that point you can figure out who the bad guy really is, and then smack him around, and that will complete taking liberties. Free play. And uh, pretty easy getting that true believer status because we have that 480 multiplier. If you need help on that, feel free to watch our Deadpool Red Brick video or uh, just simply catch up on our uh, overall videos. The walkthrough walks you through exactly what we do, so makes it kind of nice. Don't leave anything out. We freed Lee, which was also a nice good deed that we did. And uh, a couple gold bricks for doing so. But that'll wrap up Lego Marvel Super Heroes Level 11, Taking Liberties, Free Play. Head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below if you like what we're doing. We did start a G Plus account too, and uh, I don't know how active we're going to be right away because we're still trying to learn how these circles and things work, but it's, uh, it's a work in progress. So check us out over there if you're more of a G Plus user, and we'll be getting a, a new logo added to our outro here sooner than later, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, check out happythumbsgaming.com. We've got links to our artists down below. If you're lazy and you don't want to try to find us on Twitter or Facebook, there is a link that takes you directly to both pages down below as well. So we love you. We appreciate all your support. If you have any requests, let us know. As always, until next time.